hello everyone welcome back to my channel if this is the first time on my channel welcome today i am making a very delicious fruit cake christmas cake wedding cake black cake caribbean cake whatever you call it this cake is very rich delicious you need to taste it to understand it christmas is around the corner so this is a perfect time to make your delicious fruit cake so that by christmas it will be ready for everyone to enjoy so let me show you how it is made i'm gonna leave the list of the ingredients in the description box so i'm going to start with the dry ingredients i'm using three cups of all-purpose flour i'm gonna sift it with the other dry ingredients i'm gonna add two teaspoons of uh, baking powder a teaspoon of salt a teaspoon of ground cinnamon a teaspoon of allspice i like to grate the nutmeg by myself so i'm gonna be using a teaspoon of uh, nutmeg i'm gonna add it to the dry ingredient and sift everything together i'm gonna mix everything together to make sure it is properly combined then i'll set it aside and move over to the wet ingredients so i'm gonna start by cracking eight eggs i will be zesting this lime and i'm also going to use the juice too so the zest of one lime is equal to a teaspoon i'm gonna roll it a bit so that the lime will produce more juice so i need two teaspoons of lime juice i like to prep everything before i start mixing because there's a possibility you might miss one thing so two teaspoons of lime juice so when i'm done i'm gonna add the zest and the juice to the eggs so i'm gonna be using four cups of soaked mixed fruits i've been soaking this for about eight months now i have a video on how to soak your mixed fruit if you're interested i'm gonna leave the link in the description box for you to watch so i'm gonna measure four cups of the mixed fruits when you soak your fruits in wine and rum it's gonna rehydrate the fruit and it's gonna develop a very delicious intense flavor that is out of this world you can blend your fruits if you want to but because i like to see the fruits in the cake i'm gonna beat them with a whisk so that they'll break down a little bit so when i'm done i'm gonna set it aside i'll be using two cups of room temperature butter it should be soft i'm gonna transfer it into the bowl and save the wrapper for the pan so i like to line my pan with with parchment paper let me show you how i prepare my parchment paper for my pan I'm just gonna fold it into a flat cone shape then place the pointy part at the middle of the bottom of the pan I'm gonna use the pan to measure it then cut it off and for the sides I'm gonna cut strips to uh, line the side of the pan so if you are new to my channel or you are a returning viewer and you are not yet subscribed please hit the subscribe button turn on the notification bell so that you can get an alert whenever i post a video like and share the video thank you and god bless you i like to notch the parchment paper so that the part that sits on the pan is gonna fit nicely don't worry i'm gonna show you how it works special shout out to all those that have subscribed to you guys are the best i love you thank you and god bless you as you can see it is very easy to manipulate now so i'm just gonna set them aside and use the butter wrapper to grease the pan after greasing the pan i'm gonna line the pan with the parchment paper as you can see because i notched the bottom of the parchment paper see the way it's fitting nicely at the bottom if you don't notch it it's not gonna work you will not be able to get it to do that so i'm gonna continue till i'm done then line the bottom of the pan so it is time to line the bottom of the pan the parchment paper appears to be too big i'm gonna remove it and trim it a little bit 
then put it back to fit nicely. So when I'm done, I'm going to preheat the oven to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. My water bath is also ready. I'm going to put it in the oven. Now it is time to mix everything. I'm going to beat the butter for a minute. Then I'll add the brown sugar gradually and mix till it is creamy and fluffy. So if you like what you are seeing, give me a thumbs up and if you are not yet subscribed, please subscribe. Don't forget you can also follow me on other social media platforms such as Facebook, Instagram and Pinterest. Thank you. As you guys know, whenever you are mixing any batter, you need to scrape the sides so that everything will be properly mixed together. So I'll be doing that once in a while. When your butter and sugar is properly creamed together, it's going to double in size and it's going to look fluffy. This is the right time to start adding the eggs. I'm going to add the eggs one at a time and mix until I've added all the eggs. After adding the last egg and properly mixing it in, I'm going to add the flavors. I'm going to add a teaspoon of vanilla, a teaspoon of rose water. I'm also going to be adding some browning or burnt sugar. I'll start with four tablespoons, then mix. And if it is not dark enough, I'm going to be adding more. I have a video on how to make browning. I'm going to leave a link in the description box so that you can check it out later. Like I said earlier, I just added 4 tablespoons of the browning. I'm going to mix everything together before I add the mixed fruits. Once everything is properly mixed in, I'm going to stop using the mixer, instead I'll use a spatula to fold everything in. So I'm going to add the fruits gradually. I like to add 2 cups at a time and fold it in, but you can add it at once, it doesn't really matter. After mixing the fruits in and you notice that the batter is not dark enough, this is a good time to add more browning, so I'm just going to add 1 tablespoon. But be very careful because if you add too much, it's going to be very bitter. So it is time to fold in the flour. I'm going to split it into three and fold it in gradually. I don't want to overbeat it because if you overbeat it, it's not going to be good. So just fold it in gradually, I'm not beating it vigorously. I'm just going to add a quarter cup of wine because the batter is too thick before I add the last part of the flour. So add the wet then they dry. Oh, in case you forgot to soak your mixed fruit for fruit cake, I have a video on how to stew it. I'm going to leave the link in the description box. Now that the batter is properly combined, I'm going to pour it into the pan. Look at this delicious goodness. I don't like to eat cake batter, but this one is something else. <laughs> God help me. I'm going to lick this bowl. Give it a couple of good taps to remove every air bubble. Then put it in the oven directly above the water bath. To prevent it from burning because it's gonna cook for a long time about three hours or more so i'm gonna bake it at 300 degrees fahrenheit for three hours so after three hours the cake is ready i already checked with a toothpick it is done it came out clean in this spray bottle i have a mixture of wine and rum that i'm gonna spray on the cake you don't have to use a spray bottle you can just 
pour the wine on top the mixture on top it's also fine and you have to do it immediately you bring it out from the oven so i'm just gonna let it cool and soak up the alcohol till the next day so this is the next day the cake has completely cooled down and i've absorbed all the alcohol as you can see the crack on the cake has reduced in size considerably so i'm just gonna transfer it into a plate normally whenever i make this cake i let it stay for a week before i eat it that is when it tastes better you're going to enjoy it more i taste richer after one week so i'm just gonna cut it for you guys to see if not i don't like to eat it right away isn't it beautiful doesn't it remind you of christmas i also have another video of how to make fruit cake the non-alcoholic version that your children can enjoy i'm gonna leave the link in the description box for you to check it out later look at this delicious goodness wow don't you want a bite see this cake tastes amazing look at it it looks perfect it is moist it is dense and it tastes amazing i think i deserve a thumbs up so this is how i preserve my cake i wrap it up like this and put it in the freezer sometimes i cut them into little wedges and freeze them individually in a ziploc bag you could freeze them or just leave them out and be adding wine to it every week this is the perfect time to make your christmas fruit cake so why don't you give my recipe a try i promise you you will not be disappointed so thank you guys for watching till i see you next time stay safe stay blessed i love you bye